What is going on guys and girls, it's Ghost Rebel back with some more Battlefield 4, joined once again by Game Riot himself here in these mystic mountains. Hello, hello, hello. As we drive this very quiet vehicle. Yeah, what's my game going quiet for? I feel like sometimes it cuts out like the like secondary audio, like we still have gunfire. I think that's what I started firing for, it's like, this game's still working. I'm, I'm, driving, I'm driving like a hovercraft here, slowly through the... <laughs> slowly through the wind. Are we still recording this? Are we gonna stop? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Our vehicle. Is it back? Now, isn't it? Piece back? Of, is no, it back? back? No, it's not. Oh, I can walk there we go. Okay. Now we can hear people. The fun of Battlefield in its first. Well, second week? First week? What are, what are we still at? Is this the, is the console been out for a week yet? Well, Xbox One has just come out. So. Xbox One is just out. And especially for people in the UK, all that next gen stuff is really new. Thank you for that. Cheers. Appreciate that. Sony loves you guys. Yeah, they're the biggest market in the world and they screw us. I'm pretty sure you're not the biggest market in the world. Oh, we're the biggest market for Sony. <laughs> oh, that, that could be true. Yeah. It was a very interesting decision of them to decide, like, hey, we can get it two weeks later on. But as, as you proved, Microsoft was really, really happy with that. Exactly. They released it worldwide, pretty much. Correct. I'm like, I can't, what is going on? The sound keeps cutting out for me like 10 million times. I'm trying to just deploy in here and it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm on like vehicle select and it won't let me select a plane. I wanted to be on a plane. I've never flown a jet in this game, to be honest with you. I'm terrible, this is so hard to control. If you don't learn properly. Yeah. It's so difficult. I, I, I read somewhere that someone, someone was saying it was some like, I don't know, some military veteran or something was saying, like, it's, it's harder to fly a helicopter in Battlefield than it is in real life. <laughs> like, that, it's more... It's just that makes sense. Crazy. I do like seeing the planes whiz by overhead here in the freaking pretty graphics. This pretty is... Cool, isn't it? Looking up and hearing them go by. This is one of my favorite uh, environments in the game. I don't know that it's the, the best map, but I love just, like, the snowy mountains in the background. I think that looks really good. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Where is it, where is it set? Russia? This map, I... Bleh. I'm trying to think off the top of my head. I, I kind of wish that they would have done some, like, uh, universal game world thing where you could see, like, the Forza track in the background racing around the mountains. Like, I think that would have been incredibly epic. I'm trying to see the uh, helicopter. Uh, oh. I see you going to war with the, the chopper. He, the tank doesn't go up very high. No. So <laughs> like, uh oh, oh. I'm watching somebody's like launching missiles or something, which is pretty crazy. Here. I think that might be. Oh, I feel hit. Yes. Oh, is, that, is that me? I don't know. I'm racing for your tank. Slow down. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Coming to get in. All right, now I'm in, and I have a gun, and we're getting. Oh, who's getting? Oh, it's tank up there. Where? Oh, oh God, it's up here. Whoa. Get out! Get out! Where nope, I'm taking it down. It's now falling down the cliff. <laughs> oh. My ah! Oh. Go away, you stupid tank! Careful, he's got a tank thingy. Oh, he blew stuff up. I'm just chilling here, firing at this tank, having a good time. I don't think anyone's in it, by the way. Oh god, it jumped out. Yeah. It blew up. I panicked and got out really quickly. Oh I'm well. Back in now, no worries. We'll just go over here with uh, all these people way up high. I do like the increased focus on verticality in Battlefield 4. I think that's pretty awesome. I wish more shooters would do that. I think Titanfall is going to be a great example of like vertical maps and stages what with all the jumping around and jetpacks and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm just going to play the way the movement. Have you played it yet? I have not. I haven't, I haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> you played it. Briefly. Once or twice. I want to I want to play it. I I Even you said Good. the same as everybody else that yeah, it's a, it feels so great right off the bat. It's it just feels really good <laughs> it's weird i find it i thought it was really difficult to control at first like, yeah um it, it looks difficult to control but it's not at all you just press that it's like an aa button i guess so you press that aa -A and it's sort of dive so sort of just like press the directional button right it's just like shooting obviously so that's it's quite interesting because like they had the uh the jetpacks in in some of the more recent halo games and i never thought those felt very great or were very useful but everything i've heard is that like this the movement system here is pretty darn awesome Definitely. It's, it's a, definitely going to look out for the PC or Xbox One, for sure. Or an Xbox 360. Oh, that's not mentioned. 
It's made by a different team. It could be okay. I don't know. I do think it's. I do think that, you know, over here in the states, we just had had Black Friday, and there were some great bundles on PlayStation Three and Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I think you could really get a lot out of those systems still for the next six to twelve months. Yeah, I know that definitely. Um, this was like now I pick up this console and I keep playing this one. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna go back to like the, the last gen. Oh like yeah. PS Two or something. Yeah. It's not, well, the, the, yeah, the, the difference between them is so noticeable when you go back and forth. Except for, like, exclusives, there is still some stuff that's, you know, just on those uh, those now last-gen oh, systems. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm looking forward to, like, Last of Us and stuff. You'll see on yeah. yeah. Don't forget Dark Souls 2. I know you want to play that. Mm. Dark Souls is one of, the most, it's one of the most rewarding games I've ever played. It, it might not be the most fun game, but it is so... You feel like you're... a champion of video games i for sure i'm sure i i'm sure it is but i just feel like my whole way i approach games now has completely changed that's yeah. not my fault it's just how <laughs> games are these days they're a lot more easy aren't they yeah um it used to be so more challenging all the time oh it, it's crazy how and we don't even realize it i think because we're so accustomed to it for the last decade or whatnot but i was playing the uh the new 3ds zelda game and it's sort of a, a throwback to um, some of the older Zeldas, and man, they, they just kind of let you explore and figure stuff out on your own, and even me, I was like, I don't know what to do, because you're so used to them just being like, go here, mark it on your map, go over here, pick this up, and it's just kind of crazy. It just feels like all games are like semi-easy, I guess. I don't know, I don't know. I guess I, sh I should put the diff sort of difficulty up to hard or something and challenge myself. But... Yeah, play on expert. No, but it definitely is true that they've, they've as, you know, the market for all these massive games has increased dramatically. You know, they, they definitely have lowered the point of entry so that everybody can feel successful. And there's always those crazy stats of like, oh, only like 20% or 18% of people actually end up finishing the game, which is, is just... Uh, that always surprised me. I know crazy things like me. GTA and stuff would be like, oh my God, it's like a really crazy, like long game. Yeah. Stuff like... I don't know, Uncharted or Last of Us always always sort of surprises me when it's such a low percent. Yeah. And, and just weird that people, you know, would go out and I don't know if, if I unless the game's bad. If I spend sixty bucks, I kind of want to beat it. I usually want to see it through and, yeah, exactly. and just. If the games aren't cheap, especially over here now, they're just outrageous. That's weird as well. Tell us about that. Like how in in the UK there's been an increase. A massive increase. From 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 generation to generation, where here everything's still sixty bucks straight across yeah. the board. So I went, I went out today, for example, um, picked up my PS4 games, even though my console didn't turn up, but anyway. Um, <laughs> it's, it basically costs £50 for a, a game now, which is about $80. That's crazy. $85-ish. Crazy. Um, on, the, on the actual PSN store. Yeah. Uh, for £62. Holy goodness. I think they've dropped it to 60 now, but it was originally going to be £63 or something. Yeah. Like that. Um, so they've increased it, which is kind of piss. That's but, I know. so odd. So I know they were talking, you know, for a little bit over here of like, oh, bumping it to 70, and then they kind of decided against that, and people were like, oh, God, the consoles are so expensive. But I'm, I'm shocked that you guys would experience an increase. Well, considering we were paying more anyway. Yeah. We were paying 40, even 40 pounds was more than what you guys pay. Right. It doesn't make any sense to us at all. And no one's really talking about it for some reason. I don't know why. I just have to do a video on it. And, try and just and keeping it quiet. Oh, don't worry, just buy all the games. Yeah. It's like I went down and spent £100 on two games. Yeah, it's a lot. It's of... like, how much is that? $150 or something? It's absurd. So when you, you know, at one game it sounds like kind of bad, but when it's like over two or three, four games, oh my god, my whole world is getting blown up. Um, when it's over like three or four games, you're talking, you know, we're getting an extra game for free, basically. Exactly. Which is yeah. just, that's insane. I'm sorry, but... They're trying to stop trade-ins. I have no choice but trading games now. <laughs> yeah. Just to be fair, I, must, I, can't, I, have to, I traded in Rise because I finished it. Right. So I just, well, I, I, I wonder do, if eventually but... what they'll do is... And I know this is sort of, you know, taboo because they don't want to offend retailers, but make the digital versions a lower price to... You know, that that totally stops trade-ins, but maybe they, they're tied to retailers too much. I don't know. For some reason, uh, PS4 is more expensive. And they're more, more expensive than the Xbox One. Right. But they come out and said, uh, we're, not, we're trying to not defend, like, we're trying to make sure the retail has a stronger market or something still. That's what Sony said. Strange. But Microsoft's got the same prices. So, I'm like, I don't know. 
What are they doing? Hey, hey, there you are. We finally found each other. Long time no see after you bailed out of my tank. <laughs> oh god, I'm about to get ran over. Look at that dodge. I have not oh god, that's got coming. No. Uh, so many dudes. So many dudes. Plus the price of the consoles more over here as well. So <laughs> you guys are yeah, getting screwed a bit. Unlucky. Okay, they're lucky I love games that much. Yeah. I'll be interested to see, you know, since Sony did release the PlayStation 4 later over there in Europe, if, if they still have a, a sizable lead over Xbox One or if, you know, it, it's more even for the first few months here. I don't know. Some reason, like, I, when I was, like, before the Xbox One launch, there's like, so many adverts everywhere. Mm -hmm. And the PS4 had, like, literally nothing mm -hmm. until, like, literally launch day. Weird. Which I thought was a bit weird. I think in general, Microsoft spends a lot more, because I know over here in the States, I have seen plenty more Xbox One ads than, uh, like, on TV and stuff during football games or stuff like that. I've seen many, many more uh, Xbox One ads. Um, and even online, I, I've noticed a lot more, yeah. you know, There's banners and stuff. For, so much. Yeah. I've seen that Fools of Five ever about a million yeah. times. <laughs> yes, definitely. Well... Our team is having a bit of an issue. I have not done well on this one at all. I've been talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's my excuse. Now. We just look at the pretty explosions and we we hold our points. I, I blame the rest of everybody else for being ridiculous. Oh, shooting things so bad in this one. We have to like this game. We have to really pinpoint exactly where we're shooting. If you if you're off a bit. Oh yeah, especially because everybody's so. And so spread out, too. The maps, it doesn't seem like it because they're so full with people, but these maps are significantly larger than their, like, Xbox 360 and PS3 counterparts. Like, significantly larger. It's just crazy. Well, Our team. I'm in a power sheet, and I'm going for C. I'm going to spawn on you in the sky. Yeah. Right the flag. Yeah. Right by the flag. Look at this. We're just so Front awesome. Front. What a great uh, deployment you had there. Oh god, there's someone coming for us. Great. I want a vengeance. Great. We're about to lose though, so... I'll go scout ahead for us. I do love that. I feel like you have mouse-like precision almost with... Man, just being able to see guys so far away is such a cool feeling. Yeah, this game, I'm really enjoying this game at the moment. I, I wasn't a big Battlefield 3 fan, but this one just... I don't know, something about it. I feel like it's it's, it's a lot improved with a lot of things like the uh, you know, destructibility and then obviously just the, the next-gen nature on console is a huge exactly. advantage. Fact, it takes us two seconds to get into a match as well. Yeah. So I'm Xbox One on, literally loaded up straight away. It's just, it's just so good. <laughs> ah, double kill. Yeah, have you, have you noticed any, like, hiccups with the online, like... I feel like there's been less issues with, uh, like, slow loading or, you know, disconnections or stuff like that. Maybe it's just because it's early on, there's not as many people. But to me, it seems like it's been a little bit better. Um, I've heard people getting struggling to get onto the PS, on the PS4 version of, like, just generally trying to connect. But that's, that's what I've heard. But well, well, yeah, once you're in, though, I, I wonder... Because, you know, they, oh, okay. they keep touting, oh, cloud, blah, 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 this, that, servers, I, blah, blah, yeah, blah. once I get in, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. All right, our team... We They're need struggling. we need to summon, like, the Avengers or something. This is just... Where's the line, man? Not... <laughs> the, uh, yeah, the Marvel mod for Battlefield 4. That's what, that's what I want to buy. That's just shout connect. Yeah. Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> Do, do you have your connect plugged in? Like, yeah, do you? I, I don't have mine plugged in just because I'm afraid that while I'm talking, I'm going to say something and, and have it totally just get goofy on me. But I, I heard that... Every time I play Dead Rising, I say something and it thinks I'm shouting at yeah. the screen. So yeah, when the zombies maybe. come, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I heard a fun little fact. They, um, you know, you can say Xbox on and it turns on. You can say Xbox... It used to be Xbox off up to the very last moment before launch, and they changed it to Xbox turn off because they were having too many problems of people casually, 
you know, powering down their system and getting frustrated. Isn't it like warn you though? Like, do you want to shut it down or is it? A... Uh, I, be I believe it does. I, I still think it's just the frustration of like, I'm not trying to turn it off. So they, they added that extra little keyword in there to. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we Xbox need help because that was <laughs> not a very good round for us. I, I don't think we did too bad like score wise. We'll have to see. It. Yeah, no, we I did think terrible. Uh, we did okay. I was talking spot too much. Yeah, we did okay. Oh, no, I can't third. Fourth. Fourth and sixth, I think that's fine. It adds up to 10, which is a great number. 10 out of 10. <laughs> if you guys thought this video was 10 out of 10, smash that like button, add to your favorites. Let us know in the comments below. We'll bring you more Battlefield 4 action. Until that time, guys and girls, go check out Game Riot's channel. Link in the description. And drink some hot chocolate. Any final words from you over on the overpriced, expensive game side of the world? I'm good. Then just, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just send him extra good luck for nice. that some, some price drops. Anyways, until next time, guys, girls, thanks so much for watching. A fantastic day, and we'll see you all later.